Peter Haddock and I'm here at 10 Star Simulation. It's in the day but we're in the dark in the simulator today and I'm here with Nick Brown. Nick you are the Director of Innovation at GKD Technologies and you're the person who invited me here today because I phoned you up and said Nick I need to understand a lot more about what you are doing to make sure people are trained on your system that is designed to make everybody safe. So we're here today because of a brand new collaboration between you and 10 Star Simulators that is designed to train people from all different backgrounds, all different capabilities on how to use the GKD technologies slew and height restrictor. And it's down there folks. So, but first of all, Nick, tell us what it's all about and then why are we in the dark as we say and why are we in the dark in the day one of the real challenges for gkd is that uh, operators the first time they see one of our products is the first time they step into a machine and that's not always in daylight and the challenge is they need to be up to speed as fast as possible to learn without the pressure learn using a simulator so that they're confident the day they turn up and that's critical for me, folks, because learning without the pressure is just so important. Imagine what we've seen in the past with trainers hanging off the side of an excavator in a live environment, going, oh, no, you need to do it this way, you need to do it. Not safe at all, is it? And we need to understand in that sort of calm environment how to set things up methodically. So when we see a GKD screen like we've got down here, we recognise it when we get on site and we know how it works. Isn't that, that's the most important thing, isn't it? That's absolutely the, the point. In the car industry, we know the minute we get in a car, if we move that lever, that's what's going to happen. We need the same situation, that same sort of subconscious understanding and recognition and acceptance of our systems so that we can ensure that an operator can concentrate on the job in front of him. And that's even more important, Nick, because before we came on to do this video, folks, I realised there's an exponential growth, Nick, of people using these systems. And, and again, when we've got big projects like HS2 and Highways England and loads of new operators that are coming into the industry, we've got to do something that works for everybody and that's safe. And obviously 10 Star are all over the place with their simulators as well, aren't they? Exactly. We at GKD looked around and, and felt that 10 Star would be absolutely the right partner for GKD because they're already training such a large number of operators in the UK. The early days and the early years of this technology used to be things like rail, but now this is becoming to be normalised as we do all sorts of different things like utilities and other projects around the UK and Ireland and the world. And the, thing, the most important thing there is when we're in the dark, we're actually simulating that space. So when we're in that rail project, for example, with lots and lots of orange people around the machine, we can actually do that in the right context and it might even, even be raining in the simulator. Absolutely. Uh, well, we can't simulate rain in terms of having to wear a hat, but uh, certainly in the rail market where GKD has been the market leader for nearly two decades, training has traditionally occurred during the day and training has occurred without people around the machine, without the hustle and bustle and the, and the pressure. And without experiencing that, that pressure, an operator really cannot operate safely and efficiently when they first come to the live site. So using a simulator gives them the familiarity that they need with our products, with the environment, and how to operate safely to ensure that they really do deliver efficiently. And great thing for me, and I've learned today, Nick, is simulators are great for operators, but they're also great for site managers and the rest of the team on site, so that people can all gather together and physically see the importance of restricting the movement of a machine, like this 20-ton excavator we see in front of us, because that is something that can do a lot of damage to a lot of people very quickly. And what this message is, really Nick, and I know it's your three word mantra Nick, isn't it? Safety, safety, safety. And that's why we're here today folks. That's why I've integrated with 10 Star. And uh, what can people expect as you move forward with this relationship Nick? As we move forward, we'll see more and more realistic simulations. From our perspective, we see in the rail sector, they do tandem operations where machines work together. That in itself is important, but often operations now with these machines, even in this industrial environment in the dark, they're in restricted areas. Sometimes 
they don't even know that the job can be done before they turn up on site. And if you can simulate it beforehand, you can work out how to be even more efficient given the constraints of height, slew, and other site-specific issues. And again, of course, what we've got with this, it's not just integrating GKD technologies. We've got things like machine control on this particular setup. We've got a tilt bucket on this setup as well. So we can have various different attachments and stuff moving forward. And we can really go and say, I'm jumping in to that excavator or that machine that's doing that task you spoke of and winning. Absolutely. The task of an operator to be able to control tilt rotators and height limiters machine control systems is enormous. We wouldn't expect anybody to operate a, a very complex machine in any other environment without really good training. And that's it, folks. It's all about training. It's all about Nick's safety, safety, safety. And it's all about making sure we simulate for the future all of the different things that people are going to experience so we can train people correctly. We can bring people safely into this industry, train them in a calm environment so they don't feel stressed so they actually can focus outside into that job site, keep us all safe, keep us productive, keep us efficient, but keep us safe, Nick. Thanks very much for joining me. Thank you, Peter.